so I just woke up. We've been driving for like an hour and we just got through Flagstaff and we stopped here because this wonderful uh, bathroom saved my life. But oh my gosh, <laughs> this place is absolutely beautiful. What? Oh my God. All right, dad, we stopped here for you. Look at all these glasses. That looks like something you have. That one. Maybe that one. Of course, it's free because we have our National Parks Pass. Um, not too much traffic. Today's a Thursday and it's about 8 o'clock, so yay! And we're so excited. Today, we are headed to the Visitor Center next. We're going to check that out. And then we're going to go to the Bright Angel Trailhead. And you can walk in about one and a half miles to a rest house. And then there's a three mile rest house as well. So um, we'll see how far we get on that trail. And then later today, we're gonna go watch the sunset at this, ah, off of the South Kebab Trailhead at Ooh Ah Point. That's where the backcountry, the backcountry guys suggested we do that for sunset. Yeah, so we're gonna go watch the sunset there. That's our plan right now. We'll see y'all at the visitor center. We're gonna eat a quick bite for lunch and then we're gonna go hike our trails. So I made myself another yogurt bowl and this is avocado. I'm gonna just put some chili lime on it. All right, y'all, we're at the Bright Angel Trailhead and we are going to just walk in a few miles and uh, look at the canyon, but here's a little sneak peek of what our views are about to be. So basically this trail just takes you to the bottom of the canyon if you were to continue going the whole way, but it's just a bunch of switchbacks that go down, down, down to the, to the very bottom of the canyon, oh which is so far. Look at how small they are. Oh, look, we get to go through tunnels. We're just going straight down. The trail feels super easy because we're just gliding down and then all these people are coming back up looking stay tired. Tuned. Stay tuned for the hike back up. Yeah. <laughs> we're barely anything into this trail, but we've already dropped a couple hundred feet and you can definitely tell the difference as we go farther down, it's getting hotter. It feels like an oven out here. The air is drier. By the time we get back up, it'll be Two o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> it's when the canyon gets the hottest. Oh, they're so cute.
You gotta get the view. This is our little break spot. Not too shabby. All right, we made it 1.5 miles down to the rest house. And I got water and bathrooms and all sorts of stuff up here. So we're gonna stop in, use the bathroom, and I'm gonna hike back up, and I think James is gonna hike a little bit farther down. I just made it back home, and I'm gonna go to the campsite. Supposedly there's $18 first come, first serve spot. So I'm gonna see if there's any left for those, secure us a spot and then swing back around and pick James up when he makes it to the top. All right, so I just checked in. We got a first come first serve campsite because obviously we didn't plan this trip. We just kind of showed up. Uh, we got site 223. You basically just go up, it's $18. And then she said, just come back first thing in the morning and we can most likely get the same campsite. You can kind of put in requests for camp spots, but I just said, put me in the best one. She's like, yeah, I will. This one's pretty good. We are, our campsite's right here. The bathrooms are right over there and water's just right down there. So we're close to everything. No fires, but we have a nice picnic table. We can cook on out here and it's, it's really quiet. There's a lot of people here, but it's really, really quiet. This is a good spot, I'm excited. Salads and I got salad all over me and dust in my eyes. <laughs> This is right in front of the bathroom. Look at these guys. These are cow elk. And they're that little baby. Oh, they're just running right through the middle of this campground. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just in the middle of the road. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> All right, we are about to walk up to the South Kaibab Trailhead and go to a place called Ua Point to watch the sunset. And the way they have it set up, you can't actually take your own vehicle down to the trailhead. You have to take the shuttle. And so just down the road a little ways, there's this picnic area. We parked the van there and we're just gonna walk up and go to the point. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's gonna be awesome. Wow. That looks unreal. All right. This is what we're doing right here. And then we're going to Ua Point, 0.9 miles, 76 flights of stairs. Well, that's nothing. All right, let's get started. Woo! This trail, <laughs> y'all. Woo! That's some serious switchbacks. Whoa! Dang. Crazy. Look at the rays of sun coming through. Look at the ooze in my eyes. I absolutely should have brought a headlamp. Yeah, I don't know what we were thinking. Yeah. We've never hiked before, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> walking here in the Grand Canyon and I know my grandparents came here at one point and 
my grandpa just randomly came into my head and so I just feel like he's up there watching, looking down on me. Sure do miss him. But one day he was here. That was pretty cool. Oh, there it is. This sunset is so awesome. I definitely recommend that as a sunset hike. But now we're headed back to the van. I'm climbing all the way back up, so that's why I'm out of breath. But and we are going to cook. Good morning. We just woke up. We are walking to the reservation office to get our campsite for one more night and then we're gonna walk and go rent our bikes and then bike back to the van and get dinner not dinner we're gonna make breakfast so we were really tired last night and didn't end up making it to the star party but we are going to go tonight great right, we just rented our bikes there they are we biked back to camp and we're about to make breakfast and then bike the whole Grand Canyon um, park. So, we're about to heat up some water or some coffee and get this day started. For breakfast, I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just warming up my leftovers from the other night. Have that with some coffee. Yes. All right, we finished eating breakfast and got all cleaned up. Now we're gonna get in the bikes and go for a ride. The cool thing is this whole park has paved bike paths. So you can get anywhere in the park on a bike. And it's raining.
Well, okay, so we came back to the van because it started thunderstorming. And I took a nap and changed clothes because it's also cold today, uh, which is nice. And now we are going to get back out and bike some more, even though it still looks like rain. That over there looks good. So hopefully all this just blows away. Uh, it is monsoon season here in Arizona. So every day around noon-ish, there are chances for thunderstorms. So anyway, we're gonna hop back on our bikes and go on out. All right, we just got to the geology museum is right there. But this is the view. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this trail right here is called the Rim Trail. It's paved completely around. But check this out. Can you finally see the Colorado? Do you see? Do you see that looks like a temple? That little spot where the water is down there? That's a rapid? Yeah. But I would probably fall off the back. Here's where we went back. Bring it to us. So this building was put here in the 1920s. The scientists and geologists wanted to put a building in place that would best depict the Grand Canyon's beauty. So that museum's really cool. You can go in there and read all about how the Grand Canyon was formed and the rocks and you know, all the geologi geological <laughs> stuff. We are gonna get hop on our bikes. We have a, what do you say, a 12 mile bike ride or so? From here, probably like 12. Yeah, about downhill. 12 mile downhill ride Mostly to downhill. a bunch of different viewpoints. So let's go. It looks like it's gonna rain again too. Yeah. Oh great, it's going to be cold. <laughs> I missed the turn off to get on the bike trail. <laughs> and now I'm doing sketchy things. <laughs> okay, we're on here now. climbing up this mountain to where we're gonna go and a bus driver guy is on his microphone and told us to turn around because it was a huge snowstorm. Not snowstorm, thunderstorm. So we went and got some food at Java Pie Tavern. Yeah. <laughs> right now we're driving to the showers. We're gonna take a shower and we were gonna go to the store party tonight and it showed clear skies, but it is still raining. That's gonna be kind of disappointing to miss, but yeah, we're gonna get showered and see what, where the night takes us. So, we got a wild hair, woke up at 3.30 and now <laughs> caught a shuttle up to, I think this is Mariposa Point, Copa Point. Yeah, was about a mile walk and watch the sunrise, yay. Night hiking, what we do best. So we decided to come watch the sunrise at Powell Point instead of Hopi Point because Hopi Point is very, very popular and will likely be very crowded. And this is, I think, just as good of a view 
and there's probably not going to be as many people here. So, yeah. We're the only people out here. Crazy. point and we're reading about John Wesley Powell he was one of the first people to expedition through the Grand Canyon and he took a boat down the Colorado River and he only has one arm because he lost an arm in the Civil War so this dude's pretty much like look at his setup with the chair strapped to a he's like the coolest guy ever <laughs> what <laughs> oh my gosh so we just had that entire sunrise to ourselves there was no one else here that was incredible so cool it's just getting prettier as the sun rises and you can see it starting to shine on the canyon this is a really cool spot okay. hopey point gets all of the that's like the touristy thing i'm sure this is super touristy too but hopey point gets all of the raves and reviews the noise. yeah there's a bunch of people over there because we could hear the bus coming because what happens is the bus comes and drops you off right over here and then you have to hike all and it's only you know it's only like 0.3 miles or something yeah. the hobie point if you can't hike and you want to just get out you can just get out up there and see the most amazing view so both are good options but I like our choice doing pal point this morning but we're about to hike on and catch the next bus down to the van and then we'll drive back to our campsite and we got to drop off the bikes and then we're gonna get ready to head out of here and go head up towards our next destination All right, we are at Desert View Watchtower. It's our last stop at the Grand Canyon. And unfortunately, we found out you cannot go up the tower. You can only go up to the first floor. Uh, we talked to a park ranger. She said that it was originally closed due to COVID. And then when they went to open it back up, the fire marshal came and they checked all the fire codes and they were not up to code. Um, so, Basically, they can only have five people going up at a time and they don't have a ticketing system yet for that, but they are working on it. So that is sad, but anyway, at least we can 
see it right there. Yeah.